In this video, we're taking a Garmin GNS 480 compact flash card from 2004 and we're going to transfer it onto a 4 gigabyte Transcend card. Now, this will also allow us to back up these cards to our computer in an ISO format so that later, if we lost a card or the card becomes corrupt, again, easy for us to make a new one. So let's go ahead, jump into it. Now the tool I like to use is called HDD Guru. Well, it's actually called HDD Raw Copy Tool uh, by HDD Guru, as you can see here. One of the things that we want is to download it. Now there's two different downloads. When you scroll down, it gives you all the information. However, you're gonna find here the two options. Now these two options include an installer, so that will locally install like normal applications do. The other one, which is kind of nice, is a portable executable. So you can stick it on a USB drive, you can put it on your computer, uh, and it launches and runs from that location. It does not require installing itself onto your system. We downloaded the portable executable. I have it here on my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a standard compact flash reader. Uh, this one I bought off of Amazon, they're super cheap and I'm gonna take the original compact flash card and I'm gonna load that in. And then we're gonna plug it into the PC. So of course Windows is going to open up for me and it's gonna show me everything that I need uh, right here. So this is USB drive F. So we can see this is where our nav database is located. Uh, and of course the info, data and information. So here's our drive, we're ready to go. We're gonna close that down. So we are going to run the software. Yes, I want to allow it to run. So here it's gonna come up and it's going to allow us to select what it is that we want to, of course, work with. Now I've got my drive F, which I confirmed is what I want. And so now what this is gonna allow us to do is create a copy. And so we're going to hit continue. And now what it wants us to do is tell it where it's copying to. So in this case, we want to click a file. And we wanna go ahead and I'm gonna, sure, I'll put it into my downloads for now. You'll see I've already got one in there. So let's call this GNS 480 uh, March 7th so that I know when this disk image was from. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit save and now we will continue. So away we go. So this is going to make a copy. So the source is drive F, it's a 64 megabyte card. And now we're gonna go ahead and save it to our downloads folder. Everything is confirmed. We go ahead and we hit start. And that's it. The backup is gonna happen. It's gonna create an ISO for us, so an image file. And so now that that is complete, we are done with this part of the process. We want to eject drive F. So USB drive F, let's go ahead and eject that. So now that it is ejected, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna remove the card, and we're gonna put our new one four gigabyte one. So next what we want to do is we want to search for disk uh, management. And if we search for it, we're automatically going to see it come up uh, from the control panel. Uh, but I always press the Windows key and just type in disk management, click on the top control panel item. So here you'll see that this disk has a whole bunch of partitions. 
And so what we're going to do with this guy is we're actually going to delete the volume. I'm going to delete this volume. Uh, this is just because I previously had this card set up uh, for a multi-partition for a Linux uh, system. So this showing up as drive F again because of where it is. So we're going to say, yes, we want to go ahead and format the disk. Uh, FAT32 is, is fine. Uh, we could use FAT, um, but it won't matter because once we are done, yay, format complete. All right. So there we go, F, and it is empty. So when we look here, we now see a single partition on F. And if it was already there and it's a single partition, you would have been able to use the raw copy tool directly, but it's nice to also see that from disk management. So now that we've formatted that disk, we can run our raw copy tool again. And yes, I want it to run. And so now what we wanna do is we want to copy from a file location. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna go find our image that we just made. So that is now our source. We're gonna hit continue. It brings up the destination box. So now, of course, uh, we want to use that F drive again. So we're gonna click continue. And so now it knows that this image is only 64 megabytes and it's going to write it over top of this four gigabyte cart. Uh, important, all data target will be overwritten. It's gonna completely rewrite the drive. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, we are. And there we go. Just like that, it is up and running. So now that we're complete and we know it's up and running, uh, we can run our Jeppesen distribution manager. So again, Windows, type in JEP. It's gonna automatically launch it for me. So when we open up the Jefferson Distribution Manager, it automatically finds our data F card, and you can see that it recognizes the card and it's ready for an update from your account. So that's it. That's all we got to do to get a card transferred onto a fresh new card. Even at four gigabytes, it still all works. Anyway, hope that helps.